everyone, it's Sammy. Um, it has been a while since I made a video. It is August 14th. I'm in my car right now. So we're about to go to Walmart. I just wanted to make a quick little update video. I had my nutrition appointment today. Um, and I am 13 pounds, 13 more pounds down, which is awesome. So all together, that is 18 that I have lost. I have 10 left to go until I am approved for surgery. I am very excited. I actually joined Weight Watchers um, about two weeks ago, and I've lost seven pounds since starting Weight Watchers, which is crazy. So um, I'm gonna do the Weight Watchers. I joined just to lose the rest of the weight that I need to before I can be approved. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, you know, if this Weight Watchers works, are you just going to stick with it and not do the surgery? My answer to everybody that has asked me that is no. Um, I'm not going to just do the Weight Watchers. The surgery for me is something that I have been wanting for almost dang year, a year now, like <laughs> since last December I've been wanting to do this. February is when I really started the process after researching it, after talking to a whole bunch of people. So it's something I've researched, it's something that I've poured my work into, my hard work. Um, it's something that I've researched, that I've talked to people. I've done a lot of, you know, thinking about it and the surgery is not so I lose weight quick and get a quick fix. The surgery for me is a tool to get started. I need something that's going to, you know, help me lose a good amount of weight to get me started. <clears throat> you know, it's hard, um, especially with my PCOS and my insulin and my body. I do not lose weight well. Even when I try, you know, a normal person without PCOS might have been able to, since February to now, lose way more than 18 pounds with all the changes that they've made. Me with my body, I've only been able to lose 18, which is fine, which is way better than losing none. But I want to lose a bigger chunk just to get me started. It's a great tool to help you just kind of give you that little push and get you started. So, um, you know, I have a lot of issues where I don't want to get diabetes. And with the rate that I'm going now, if I don't do something quick, not like super fast where I want to lose 100 pounds in a month, but if I don't get going, you know, I don't want to be to that point where I get diabetes. So, um, that's just something that I've had a whole bunch of people ask me since I've started the Weight Watchers. So, that's kind of my little update. My next appointment is September 16th. She says I'm doing good, I'm not skipping meals. I'm doing good with my protein. She wants me to get a little bit more protein in. I'm going to try the Atkins protein. Um, I was drinking the Premier, and that was giving me really bad stomach problems. I think it's because it's lactose, and I'm lactose intolerant. Um, now I found out after I've been drinking those. So then she switched me to a juice, which I linked in the description in my last video. Those... I didn't really like them that much. I liked them in the beginning and I was like, oh, this is nice. Like a change of, change from, you know, like a milky kind of protein. Didn't like it. So I'm going to try the Adkins um, and see if that works. Those do not have any lactose in it. So fingers crossed that I like those. I'm going to do those for breakfast with my fruit. Um, lunch has still been the same. I do have a paper that she gave me <clears throat> sorry I'm like in my car just doing this because I haven't made a video in so long and I miss doing it so she gave me this letter today um, basically um, just she gave me a recipe for a homemade protein shake which is one blend one cup of fair life milk which doesn't have any lactose in it one cup of Greek yogurt and one cup of frozen fruit. So that could be something that if any of you skip meals or need something quick for breakfast if you like have kids or you're just on the go and you need to go to work, you can blend that the night before, stick it in the freezer and when you get up in the morning to go to work, you take it out and you can take it with you. Um, 
you know, she said, I've been doing those smart, smart ones, I think it is. It's a Weight Watchers brand of the, um, like dinners, like TV dinners, like you put them in the microwave, but they're like way healthier, way lower in calories, way lower in fat and really high in protein. Um, so she said to do that, but add an extra piece of meat. So, um, last night I had the tur roasted turkey with garlic mashed potatoes and broccoli. So she said to just add an extra piece of grilled chicken, like make it on the side, get a package of chicken breasts and just grill them up on the stove or on the grill, whichever you prefer, and just eat it, mix it in with the meat that's already in the meal. So that way my potato and my starch, you know, is portioned out and I can just have extra meat. So that way I'm not overdoing it on the potatoes by making a whole pot of potatoes. Um, you know, it's kind of, it just kind of balances it out and makes it a little bit easier for me. <clears throat> and then she also upped my physical activity to 150 minutes a week. I went to the zoo, actually. I'm very excited to talk about this. I went to the zoo with my aunt. She's home from Brazil for two weeks, so we're very excited. Um, and we went to the zoo and I walked four and a half hours, you guys. Four and a half hours. I sat down maybe three times. It was so shocking to me that my body was able to do that um i've been doing a lot more walking i'm way more active not laying in bed all day i have a new job so you know i'm not like i'm not cooped up in my room so i walked for four and a half hours and i was so proud of myself so anyway that's just my little update my next appointment i think i said was september 16th um, I'll probably do another video before then. I'm gonna try um, to do one maybe in like two weeks and see if I lost any more now that I'm on the Weight Watchers. But um, other than that, she said I was going at a really good pace. She doesn't want me starving myself. She says some people come in there and they try to just do the liquid diet for like a month at a time, which is awful for your body. Um, and then they come in for their appointment and they lost all this weight and get approved and then when they're waiting for their surgery, um, like four weeks or whatever out, they schedule it out, they gain all the weight back because they're starving. So she said she was very proud of me. I'm going at a good pace. Um, and that is it. So I will see you guys next time with a new update. Bye.